Before you start handling product CSVs, you'll want to ensure that you have all of the information you need to start importing prepared and handy. This will help you keep organized as you move through your upload. When preparing a product CSV, make sure you have all of your product invoices, all of your order forms from merchandise, your current physical inventory, your supply price and retail price of all items, what your markup will be for pricing your items, and also your SKUs and barcodes. There are also a few things you should have set up in your vend store before beginning. Set up all of the outlets you'll be running vend on. Set up your tax rates as you'll want to add these into your spreadsheet and turn on loyalty if you plan on using the VEND built-in loyalty program. You'll also need software that will allow you to manipulate a CSV. You can choose between Microsoft's Excel and also OpenOffice, a free software that you can find online. There are certain provisions for each so be sure to take special care and listen to the instructions for each of these within the course. Before opening your CSV, it's really important to understand how SKUs that begin with zero are interpreted. If you are using SKUs that begin with zero, we recommend to use OpenOffice. When opening your CSV, just select the SKU column at the bottom and click the column type dropdown. After clicking the drop-down, just select text and open the file. You'll find that your SKUs have not had the zero removed from them and you can work through and edit away. Excel is a leading spreadsheet software platform that will allow you to add and edit your products in a CSV. It comes at a fee, but by going to their website online, you can sign up for a free trial to try it out if you'd like. We also have OpenOffice, which is available at openoffice.org, and that is a free alternative solution to Microsoft Excel. Even if you have not yet added any of your own products, you will still want to export your current Vend CSV out to use that as a template when you're going to add your first products. Export your current CSV so that you have the correct headers in your CSV when you re-upload them. So after exporting, just open it up in your spreadsheet software of choice. One thing you must always look out for when manipulating CSVs using Microsoft Excel is truncated SKUs. This typically happens when Excel changes the SKU number from the original number, which tends to be often longer, and it will attempt to make it shorter and change it into a scientific notation. To avoid this happening, always make sure that the SKU column is formatted as text. You can do this by right-clicking on the column and going to Format Cells and clicking on Text. 